Um, one is around kind of a number of people have spoken about this, understanding user needs and behaviours. Um, there's been a couple of or some surprising discoveries about client capabilities and preferences. Um, I'm going to ask Anjono, she would just share a little bit about what Northamptonshire Rights and Equality Council has learned about their user needs and behaviours in this time. Um, okay, thank you. Um, I. I, I just think uh, a lot of what we've been doing is uh, not only doing advice, but we've also uh, embarked into doing direct aid as well because of the needs there. So part of that has increased our reach into particularly disadvantaged communities and given them um, options. You know, we're a really, really tiny advice organisation. So we don't have the kind of reach that um, big law centres, CAB that they have. So most of the way that we promote our services tends to be by either word of mouth or uh, street street activity or activity at big events, which at the moment no longer happens. So uh, we've been doing a lot more direct aid and in particular we've got a few bits of funding around giving uh, mobile phone credit to people. And this is quite instant also. You know, so if someone texts you and they're asking for advice and they have no credit, um, if you have their vou a voucher there, you can instantly kind of give them maybe thirty pounds. What we've been doing is thirty pounds worth of credit. And the thing is, to resolve issues, you often need that not that one-time engagement, but that ongoing engagement. So giving people access to that is helpful. I think also we found a lot of people were phoning us rather than other ed advice agencies because we had a landline phone number. Uh, I've had people specifically saying, um, well, I could phone them, but I don't know how much it's going to cost me. I've had people saying, you know, I can't afford to do that. So having a landline phone number for us has been um, uh, and promoting our online phone number for us has been really good. However, I've been really amazed by the stuff in the chat about other kinds of solutions that of other people have, have, have provided. We're based in a college, so we don't pay for our phone phone calls because they just kind of absorb the cost. So um, for us, the cost issue isn't an issue, but you know the accessibility is. We've been using a lot more in terms of uh, particularly WhatsApp. In, in respect of uh, talking to clients and engaging with clients and just finding a lot of people really at sea and needing those kind of, not only the services we um, give as a specialist advice service, but also those generalist uh, services, so our ability to then pick those up and refer on back into generalist advice services, I think has been really good. Thanks so much, Anjona. That's really interesting. Um, it's so valuable to have uh, insight from um, kind of a smaller organisation such as yours um, and, you know, about your relationship with the local community as well. So thank you for sharing that.